welcome back to my channel um and welcome back to brown sugars world thank you so much for stopping by again and as you can see i have a guest on the channel today this is my hubby slash pookie and <laughs> we're going to be doing the husband tag how y'all doing okay so <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's your name? My name, um... You don't have to get the last name. Everybody call me C's. Just C's. Okay, C's. That's his nickname. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to this little vlog thing, so you know, I'm just gonna give y'all C's for now. Pretty sure my wife will probably say that my name, my name a little bit later, probably. Okay. Alright, so we're going to jump right into the questions for the husband slash wife tag slash couples tag. Alright, first question is, when and where did we meet? Okay, do you want to go first? Okay, yeah, we can, I'll go first. Um, we met when um, we were working at Ruby Tuesdays together, both as waitresses. Well, she was a waitress, I was a waiter. And uh, yeah, that's how I first got acquainted with my lovely wife, Mia. So we met in Maryland at a Ruby Tuesdays, um, and yeah. That's all you have to say about that. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> well, well, we met, you know, at Ruby Tuesdays, and it, it was started off kind of, kind of shaky. Well, that's the next question. But we were like, I was nineteen, he was twenty. Twenty, yeah. So yeah. Um, my next question is, what was our first impressions of each other? Um, my first impression is he was just starting there and I had been working there for like a year and a half already. And, um, my first impression was, oh my God, this guy thinks he's the shiznick. And he was quite, you know, I felt like he was full of himself and I was like, I don't have time. All these girls are falling over him. I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm by my money. And for her, she came off like very, very... Mean and antisocial, believe it or not. Don't let that smile fool you. <laughs> Miss Nia can turn it on you quick. Um, his his favorite saying is that I was a B. But that was because I let dudes that think they're all is. that, I let them know quick, like, I'm not the one. Why can you judge somebody by what they look like? How can you just look at somebody and think that they think they're all that? I still don't He, he walked up like, oh. And I was like, ain't nobody got time for this, Mr. Suave. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was our first impression. But that quickly wore off and, yeah, we realized, like, we liked each other. Um, next question you should is... should have talked about that a little bit more. Okay. How did it go about you finding out you decided that you liked me? Like, when did it... No, you, did you, you decided did you liked me, too. When did the change, the change come about? Um, basically, after... We was working there. Well, he was working there for a while. It was just like, um, okay, he was working there probably with like February. Yeah. Oh. So maybe well, we were there for about what two months before. Yeah. And I, okay, like some like he a girl that used to go to high school with him worked there. So and me and her was really cool. And so, like, he was cute or whatever. And me and the girl would talk about, like, not talk about him, but, like, I would say little stuff like, yeah, he's cute. Or I want to pinch his booty. That was my way of, like, I was, like, very girly. Very, very weird with it. I was, I, I'm just weird. I've never heard nobody say nothing like that to me before. Like, <laughs> wife was the first one to ever come to me and say, I want to slap your booty. Like, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> so she said oh, I'm gonna go tell him and I was like no but I kind of wanted her to tell him and then she told him and then he was like really nice to me he was mean to everybody else and he was really nice to me so then from then on we just was like flirting and you know we didn't tell anybody we was dating for a while cause you know girls they would try to do the most when they think you know somebody is dating somebody so but yeah so when did you tell you like me? Um, I'd probably say once I started realizing how different that she was, you know? Because um, like you said, like, just by the way, like when I found out, I always thought she was attractive from day one first off. You know, I, mean? I thought she was you know me. attractive. Yeah, I would never say, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke, you know? 
But it was always pretty, you know what I mean? But um, once I started seeing it, she was a lot different than any girl that was like from the area and even any girl that was in that, that place, you know? That's when I started realizing I liked you because your conversation was different and unique. And you wasn't um easy, really, you know? So I really um, took to you fast. Oh. Next question is, when did you meet the parents? Um, that's kind of like rant. Okay, for us, it's like we don't have a we don't have a typical relation. Like it's not like storybook type, you know. So like the first day that I went to his house, like I met his dad. Right? I think he cause he answered the door. So, yeah, so. everything was kind of like quick. It was like it was like kind of like dating for a while, like without officially dating. Yeah. It was like, it wasn't like no time went by, but it was like, it was almost like we knew that we were supposed to be together. It was almost like from the time that we started committing time to each other, it never really ceased. Like when he met my family, it was the first time he came to my house. I think we was going to go to the movie or something. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I don't know we did so much. So. Yeah, it was like a blur. <laughs> All I do know is that the first time we talked on the phone, and he hadn't met my family or anything like that. Um, we were just talking on the phone and stuff. After we got over being annoyed with each other and we started flirting at work. I remember I told my friend, I was like, yeah, there's something different about this guy. I don't know. But it was like weird. And then it was just like weird. I just was like, yeah, there's something different. But when he did come to meet my parents, this is like the only guy that my dad didn't have a little snarky something to say afterwards. Like, he was like, yeah, you all right, you all right. Like, usually my dad will say something like, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. And my mom always had something smart to say. My mom compared everybody to a cartoon character, so. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, next question. Question was uh, who said I love you first, and I would have to admit that was me. You know, I, mean? I fell in love like relatively easy, as you see. Me is very beautiful. She's a charming young lady. You know, what I'm saying it's like that's not hard to believe that you know I fell in love fast. But the thing that really separated you from everybody else was like the standard that you set for yourself. You know, what I mean, like me was like the first woman ever to tell me like. Well, okay, you don't have to be all one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm not either. When I heard that, a bell just went off. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't have her be with nobody else. So, you know what I mean? I just decided to, you know, get, keep her to myself before I let somebody else take her away, you know? So. Yeah, when he was saying, like, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, basically he tried, he tried it. Like how most dudes okay, will try it. He was like, um, Still we were young. dating and we were, yeah, we were young. We were like 19, 20. We were dating and he was like, literally within our first week of dating, he was like, was it? No. It was like a third, I don't know, because we talked on the phone for so long and flirted at work for so long, so I don't even know. We was already, we decided we wasn't looking for you. Remember yeah. the typical thing? I'm not looking for This is what he said. He said the typical for for dude it. thing to say. Um, yeah, so... I'm not looking for a girlfriend or nothing serious. So I was like, he tried it. He got the <laughs> right one today. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we can date. But don't think, like, you're the only one still dating. I'm also <laughs> dating. So if I find somebody, okay. So from then, it was just like... I think it was like a week or two later, he was like, I love you, and I was like, I know, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So the question, the next question is, how long did we date before we got married? Um, basically, we dated for three and a half years. Was it more than that? I think it was three and a half, because we moved in together after. We've been together 10 years total. We've been and we've been married for six and a half years. So about, yeah, about three and a half yeah, years. Three and a half to four years. Three and a half to four years. It's just so, literally, the longer you together, stuff just starts going. Like, when you see old people and they be like, yeah, it's <laughs> been like such and such years. It just starts flowing together. You literally can believe them because mm -hmm. 
it's like I don't remember when I wasn't with him, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so. But the best thing about it is even with all of that time, it doesn't feel like like exhausting. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like a marathon or something like that. Like it's yeah. Pretty, 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 pretty. It just feels like a life journey that's like, this is like my life journey partner. Like, what do you mean? We're together. That's all that matters. Yeah. Um, next question is, uh, what are our professions? I am, I work in entertainment, multimedia. Um, I work in multimedia for a big entertainment media company or whatever. And basically I just do like, scheduling coordinating and you know creative stuff stuff like that and i'm a barber i cut hair so yeah make people look better every single day <laughs> yeah okay what do we like to do on our leisure time together uh what would you say first of all sorry for the tv in the background um, on our leisure time, we pretty much like as you heard the tv in the background we like to sit yeah. back chill just enjoy each other's company Definitely go get something to eat. Somewhere. Oh, we love it. I love to eat out. Like and she turned me on to eat. Yeah, out. I don't lie. Literally, that's what some people spend their money on. Like um, random stuff. I like to eat and travel. <laughs> so yeah. Um, leisure time all together. Yeah. So okay, these two questions are together. What do we like to do in our leisure time and our most enjoyed adventures? So what is our leisure time? You said watch TV and eat, basically, and go out to eat. Chill, you know what I mean? Watch movies, like watch shows that you like to catch up on. And yeah. Stuff like that. We read together. Read exactly. Um. The beach, maybe something. Oh yeah, we like the beach. Mind you, we both only can swim to save our lives. We don't swim <laughs> like in the ocean for leisure. We can swim to save our lives. To save my life, yeah, definitely. But we're gonna get better with that. We're gonna get better with that. For leisurely swimming. And lastly, well not lastly. Oh, oh, but our most enjoyed adventure, I would have to say, is when we went on a cruise and when we went to Jamaica. Yeah, I have to put it up there, like I said. And we've done a lot. Like, we've gone to New York, but that was a brief trip. We didn't really get to enjoy that, which I would like to do that where we can actually enjoy the city because yeah. I love New York. Um, we drove across country. Um, we drove to Georgia. We do a lot of road trips, but definitely most enjoyed adventures was the cruise to the Bahamas. We stopped in Florida and um, going to Jamaica for our seven days. Um, um, what is unique about our relationship? I would have to say, I don't know, what do you think is unique about our relationship? I would just say the fact that we really just do things the way we want to do them. Yeah. You know, I feel like we don't really, we do what we want to do and ask questions, I guess, like later. You know? uh, we so, live uh, in an alternative lifestyle, not meaning like we out here in a cult or nothing like that, but like um, we're very free, definitely. which I never, even my family thought that I was never going to find somebody <laughs> that would want to stay with me long term. Not because I like I'm cuckoo or anything, but I'm very like... What is it called? Free will? Cuckoo. I'm not cuckoo. <laughs> I'm very sporadic. I literally follow my heart. Whatever my heart tells me, I do. And I'm very emotional about life. Like everything I go off emotion, which I'm trying to get that under control the older I get. Just because you can't always go off your emotion in life. The older you get, you have responsibilities. You have to, you know, be mature about things and responsible and stuff but I definitely I try to learn from other people's past mistakes and one thing that I realized from like old people and biographies and stuff is that a lot of people regret not following their heart and I just always want to be that person that's like I have no regrets at least I took the chance that's what's beautiful about you baby oh my god he just is <sighs> So, but I found somebody, like literally, you and my dad says all the time. We found each other. Like, it's like so many different <laughs> things going on when we just look at, you see, we kind of similar, similarly look alike, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we didn't do that on my, purpose. My wife um, was born nine months after I was born. Like, yeah. I pointed that out, like, like, she's kind of like made for me. So it's 
I feel like we were kind of made for each other. It's kind of slightly creepy. We have moles in the same place. It's slightly creepy. <laughs> Um, but I would say the best thing about a relationship, I know it's not on here, but the best thing I feel is about a relationship is the communication. Oh. Like, we talk about a lot of things all of the time. Yeah. You know? We do talk. It's, like, literally, like, my best friend. So. It. I'm an it. I'm a no, friend. our relationship. <laughs> our relationship, when I say it. And uh, a couple of like. Oh, what advice would we give to young couples? We got married young. We got married at 22 and 23 years old. Um, and I know my friends will always like when I was younger or like my supervisors when I worked for um, different media companies would be like, you know, that's what you, you should write about on your blog. And I regret not doing that because I just felt so shy about it. Like I always felt like I stood out when I went to work because I was in my field of work. It is rare that you find a woman that is married, especially at a young age. Um, so it'd be like, you're married? How old are you? You look so young. And I do look young and I was young, you know, but, um, yeah. So I wish I would have like wrote more about it on my blog and stuff because it is learning as you go. You know, um, I would say to young couples getting married or any age, definitely know what you're getting into and know that it's not something that you should go into lightly, definitely be like, okay, am I ready? You know what I'm saying? If you're not ready, there's nothing wrong with it. Just be like, I'm not ready, you know? Um, but if you really are serious about it, then it's not like it's gonna be a walk in the park. It's gonna be fun along the way, but it's also gonna be like, you learn about yourself and, you know, as you go along, you realize after you get married, things do change. And it's not like for the worse. It's just like things just change. You're a grown up. So you have to be responsible for somebody other than yourself. You have to be way, you have to take away being selfish, basically. I would just simply say, you know, you got to choose the person that you just can't be without. You know, if you pick the person that you can't be without, then um, most of the time you're going to make it through anything. Because you, once you get to a certain level of life, you're going to understand that you really can't do better you can only like do different you know what i mean so it's like you gotta pick the person that really match your your personality and really be honest with yourself in the beginning you know what i mean of your relationship and not just settle and try to force anything and i know yeah. for a fact that you could make it through your relationship and be happy and, and it's not feeling like as years go on that you have miles on your relationship it just literally feels like every day is a fresh day like new experiences as we involve evolve in life yeah i agree so um, that is it um, for the couple slash husband slash wife tag. Um, I'm gonna try to have Pookie in some videos going forward just because like style videos, I like Pookie's style. Um, and I think it'll be cool for like, you know, you guys to get inspiration off of his style and stuff like that and um, advice for other young men out there that want to go into, you know, careers, entrepreneurial careers, or just want advice from a black male. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, if you have any questions that you might want to ask him about, like, how to navigate this world as a black male, or as a male, or as an entrepreneur, or just in general, please leave the comments below. And um, definitely thumbs up if you like this video and um, definitely stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching. Did you want to say anything? No, I'm going to say thanks to you for having me on here. Oh, he's so sweet. So thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments below. Um, any questions for future Pookie tags? That's my nickname for my hubby is Pookie. I just, for y'all to see. Yes, yeah, for y'all to see. Don't know nobody even I come up with Pookie. <laughs> Um, but, and any questions you have for Puppy, just leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. And subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I'm going to be, you know, pushing up the videos, style videos for upcoming summer style. Thanks. Bye. Love you.